0.1 Bitcoin is not enough. This is clickbait and any influencer who is telling you this really doesn't care about you. They just want some cheap dopamine from putting out what they would say is a contrarian take actually within the Bitcoin world. But ironically, it's not. I see more people spouting that 0.1 Bitcoin is quote unquote enough Bitcoin or generational wealth. And this is not to disparage people with less than 0.1 Bitcoin. If that's your goal, work hard, get to that number. It's very achievable, especially if you live in the United States with Bitcoin at 90K right now. That's only $9,000. I think that's very achievable for pretty much anybody in America. But this by no means is going to retire your bloodline. And it really doesn't take that complex of math to figure this out. So Bitcoin right now has a $2 trillion market cap. And it's basically only scratched the surface of what it could potentially achieve. I'm very bullish on Bitcoin, incredibly bullish. There's one quadrillion dollars worth of stuff in the world. One quadrillion. Bitcoin's at two trillion. That's not even 2%. So let's be, let's be very, very bullish because I want to steel man the 0.1 Bitcoin people. We're going to be hyper bullish. And let's say Bitcoin gets half of everything in the world, which you could argue if that's going to happen, when it's going to happen. If it does, it's probably long past all of us watching this video are deceased. But again, I want to steel man. So half of this stuff. So that's $500 trillion. I'm going to do a quick Google 500 trillion divided by 21 million. That is 23,809,523. So in a very, very bullish scenario where Bitcoin captures half of everything. And also pause for a moment. This is in real terms. Because I know, I know the first thing people are going to say is, well, the currencies could lose value and there'd be more than a quadrillion, blah, blah, blah. I know, I get it. The amount of currency in the world is going to increase. But along with that, the price of scarce goods that we want to buy, beachfront property, grass-fed ground beef, gasoline, nice cars, all of that stuff, the price of those goods and services will increase as well. So let's think in terms of real dollars, 2025 dollars, not nominally, yes. Bitcoin will be worth hundreds of millions of dollars likely as fiat currency goes to zero. But again, $23.8 million per Bitcoin if it captures half of everything. So half of the world's value is in all of the best companies, all of the real estate all over New York City, Miami, China, Dubai, Russia, everywhere, all of that combined, plus all the value of the gold, all the value of the fine art, everything, all of that. Half of the stuff, Bitcoin is the other half. All right. So that's a you know pretty bullish scenario for Bitcoin. And then the price of one Bitcoin in that scenario, one BTC, will be $23.8 million. That's a lot. But what's 0.1 Bitcoin? Well, it's 10% of that. So it would be $2.38 million. That is not generational wealth. Could you retire on $2.38 million? Probably, if you got a 1% return per year, let's see, that would be about $23,800. So if you got a 5% return per year, you're making over six figures. I don't know, could you get a 5% return per year consistently? Probably. So you could retire, but is it generational wealth? Are you putting your whole bloodline in the palace? And you're buying, you know, hundreds and hundreds of acres. No, you're going to live a nice, decent, modest life into your golden years. You know, you're not giving that to your, your children and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren. And they're never going to have to work again. And this, again, very bullish case scenario for Bitcoin that will likely take centuries to play out. So the TLDR, 0 0.1 Bitcoin. No, it's not enough. If you want to retire your bloodline off of Bitcoin, you're going to need more than that. You're going to need to stack relentlessly. Do not relent. Once you get to 0 0.1 Bitcoin, continue to stack aggressively. There's only one Bitcoin. It only monetizes from zero to however many trillion once ever. We are in quite literally one of the most exciting times in all of human history. We can communicate 
with anybody, anywhere. We can learn anything. We can build any business we want. And we get to be part of what ultimately will be a very narrow transition window from fiat currency to Bitcoin. Let's take advantage of it, but let's also not prop up this hyperbolic, misleading concept that 0.1 Bitcoin is going to quote unquote be enough.